going on, motorcycle fans? We're here in Assen, bringing you live coverage of the MotoGP Class Dutch Grand Prix. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We'll have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. Here we are live from the MotoGP Class starting grid, where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the start of the race. Are there MotoGP fans? Welcome to the channel, you are here with the architect and today we are going to have our second attempt at doing a full race distance on the Ducati GP20 at the Assen circuit. So if you remember last time we, we tried it at the Mugello circuit. Uh, if you've not watched that race guys, go and watch that one uh, and you'll see what happened. But uh, yes, it was a difficult race let's say. But today we're going to try this again for the second time at the Assen circuit on the GP20 Ducati bike. I think we've got a good setup as usual. We're running on 100%. Uh, so we'll, we shall see how we get on. It's going to be a tough race, but I'm looking forward to it. So we're running a soft and a medium on the front. Front soft. Some guys are on soft, so we're on medium. Soft medium as well. So I think our tyre choice is okay. Didn't want to start right at the back so it was potentially a little bit messy isn't it at the back of the pack but let's see how we get on just a few minutes to go until the grand prix begins Assen, the motorbike university is once again ready to put everyone to the test uh marquez as usual is is on pole okay see so if we can get a good start off the line here we go flooring it see if we can get Oh, we shoved it up the inside of me. Was that Mia? I believe it was. A little bit wide. Alex Marquez there. Let's see if we can get the Yamaha and Bagnaia down this straight. The Quattro in front of us. We're going to take it easy on the first lap. I'm guessing Mark Marquez is in front. Davizioso is there as well. Let's get it stopped for this corner. Davizioso is having a look. We've just got penalised. Two tenths. We only caught it a little bit, that green. So round for lap two then. Looks like Marquez is flying. So Bagnaia has just got up the inside of us again. Pretty slow around that part of the track.
has literally bolted, doesn't he? So making a little ground up now under Vizioso. It's be overtaking him that's going to be the problem. It's Vizioso is quite hard to overtake because he's always late on the brakes, isn't he? So Ducati v Ducati again as we come around for lap four. Ooh, a little bit wide there, a bit deep, which is allowed Bagnaia to come back through. Moderate damage. That's probably going to affect us now. There's just areas of the track where we're fast and then other areas where we, we are significantly slower. And that's allowing the others to catch up behind. And then that affects us. Oh, that was nice though. So lap five. And we've overtook Dovi. Dispatched. Can we keep it? Kept it tight. We're still in power mode one. Where Marquez has gone. <laughs> Morbidelli. Come on, be careful, man. We have got medium damage, though, as well.
struggling to keep up with more Bedelli. But I have got moderate damage as well. Bit out of shapes there, aren't we? They're having a battle in front. It's Rossi, isn't it? Morbidelli. That's allowing us to catch up a little bit. Morbidelli's flying. But can we catch Rossi? Seems like he's slowed down a bit. We're 10 laps in, still chasing Valentino Rossi. So what's the gap to Rossi now? It was 1.8, looks like we're closing on him. What is it, 1.4, so yeah, we are, 4 tenths. Morbidelli's gone though.
So it says against Rossi, really, isn't it? But what we need to do is overtake him without incurring any damage. So we need to find a spot where we can overtake him. So we'll follow him and see where he's a little bit weak, where we can be a bit stronger. He's definitely fast around there. I thought I had uh, the tyre wear on, but apparently we haven't, which is disappointing on a full distance race. But I can't stop it now. I do hear a lot of people say you shouldn't use the back brake. I don't know why they say that, if I'm honest. Because if you watch me, around this track especially, I use it quite a lot. Especially on the tight turns. It just adds a bit of stability to the bike for me. So if you get your setup right, you've got you should have a balanced bike front and back. So you can use your back brake. Well, I'm using it there all the way around and I find it pulls the bike into the bend. So it just works perfectly for me. And here, perfect back brake all the way around. Just pulls the bike in. I find it works fine for me. We're definitely gaining on uh, Rossi. It's going to be hard to overtake though. It really is. Not sure where we're going to get him actually. He's really fast around that sector. We've got we've got some uh, visitors behind us as well now. Some of us have come to join the fun. We have uh, ten laps to go. Remember, I've still got moderate damage, so I've not got the bike I would like to have had. It's Davizioso behind us.
just haven't got the speed because of the damage that we had. And I feel like the brakes are a little bit short as well. So he's overtook us now, Dovey. We've got somebody else behind us as well. I'm going to try and keep it clean. Is that Miller? No. So some of these guys then have got a, some uh, later race pace and we haven't because of our damage that we've incurred. And we're running wide. Oh, we're all over the place. Nakagami made it stick. I'm afraid we lost another couple of places. We've got a couple more behind us as well, so the bike is slower, slowing down. And we know why it is, but I'm just wondering where are we going to come at the end of this race with uh, this kind of damage that we've incurred? I wonder where it's going to put us and where we would have come if we hadn't have had the damage. We're going to stick it out, we're going to stick it out. And we'll see where we come. The bike is definitely slower. Alex Rins is now behind us. So I'm doing my best with the power that we've got and the damage. But for some reason, keep going very wide on that corner now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. I'm tired. 18 laps is uh, is quite a distance. Let me know, guys. Have you done a full race distance? How did you find it? Yeah, Rins is right behind us now. Got that Suzuki right up behind us. Rins ain't gonna mess about, he's gonna have me. He seems to have the corner speed. But we shut him off there, so we hold him back for a minute or two. Maybe I'm just tired. It's like a bloody marathon. Ooh, nearly lost the bike then.
We've still got Rossi at, up front. Rossi and Tatsuki are having a battle. Now, I never thought we'd be on top of uh, Rossi at this point in the game. I thought we was going backwards, not forwards. We're holding off Rins though, just. Where I'm losing drive is in fifth gear. Yeah, Rins has got us, just couldn't hold him off. And now we've run very wide there. And that's let uh, Quattraro through as well. So we're ninth now. Five laps to go. Is nice. We could get these places back at this rate. Oh, that back end's uh, beginning to let go for some reason, and we lose time when it does. Look. So coming round then for lap 22 of 26. Rinzer's hunting down Rossi at the front. Ross has crashed. His bike's gone flat. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Rins and Rossi. We nearly got caught up in it. Oh my god, that was lucky. We got away with that. Just. That was almost like that accident that uh, Rossi had, wasn't it? with uh, Morbidelli when his bike went straight in front of him nearly killed him well we're 7th now so who's behind us now? Don't know, but we didn't start there. Is that Vinales then? More moderate damage. So Rins has got back on. Rins got back on after that accident. Oh, the bike's in a bad way now. After Rins just, uh, he made contact and now our bike is feeling a bit shaky. Struggling to turn right. 
We're struggling to turn right. So three laps to go. And Alex Rins has damaged our bike just a little bit more. That I think is going to affect us quite a lot. Don't tell me Rossi's got on as well and he's uh, on his way up to overtake us. That'd be funny because there's no way he was picking his bike up after that. Yeah, we're struggling now, guys. The bike is uh, struggling to turn right. You are Mia behind us then. Oh, we're cutting the corner. That's a half a second penalty. It's because the handling of the bike is is a little bit odd. <laughs> it's it's making me steer it. I'm having to compensate if you like. So 24 laps gone, 25 laps started. Are we going to make it to the end? Your Amir is behind us now. The bike's struggling to turn right. <laughs> Come. We knew he'd take us. Not much I can do about it. We have a loss of power. We're struggling to turn right. It's quite a challenge. Ian O'Neill's crashed. Bless him. Bagnai has crashed as well, so I wonder if they got mixed up in that. Wonder who caused you to crash. Coming round then for a final lap, guys. We've got two more bikes behind us that are coming for us. We've got half a second penalty. So I wonder where that's going to put us. I wonder if we can just hang in for 10th. Which won't be a bad result considering, as I said, the damage. I say we are racing on 100%. Mark Marquez undoubtedly won. really hard to not incur damage on a full distance race. You know how sensitive this game is guys to damage. Ooh, the true 
Bucci. He came in to try and snatch a place and lost it. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> On the line. On the very last corner. We're going to go over the line. We're going to go over the line. <laughs> Would you believe that? Before we go to see the party at the podium, let's take a look at the MotoGP class final results. Could you believe that? Well, Mark Marquez come first, anyway, Cal Crucelow come second, and Drew de Vizioso come third. Where did we come in the end? Let's just have a check. 15th place, okay, that's clean up penalty, and we got knocked off at, at the end as well. So I'll briefly run over the setup for that bike for you guys. So, bike setup then. Uh, suspension. So we up the preload up one on the front and rear just to raise the bike a little bit. Uh, the fork rebound we increased as well as the compression uh, to support the braking on the front. The rear shock is the same as well. So it's fairly even. The front we softened the spring. On the rear we hardened the spring. Steering adjustment, steering head inclination we reduced to number two, the trail we increased to six. Gear ratio looks exactly like that guys. Okay. Uh, the brakes 340mm and the rear brake 220mm. ECU set up like that. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more MotoGP content. More four races. I enjoy doing these four races. So if you, if you like these four races, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.